day 56. I've been doing things with my phone all morning, so I haven't been able to record. And it's dashed in a building, all sorts of fun stuff. I'm going over to get lunch right now. I tried to buy it. You know, I stood in line. I was like, hey, I'd like to, you know, purchase a lunch ticket. And she's like, did you, know, you stay in here tonight? And I was like, well, no, I stayed last night. She's like, nah, you can't buy one. And I was like, well, okay, well, you know, I didn't tell her. I'm like, well, I'm going to go steal lunch then because you know, I tried to do it legit. But if I can't eat unless I'm sleeping here, well, you know, I'm going to do it my way. But one of the other hikers heard the conversation and you're allowed so many lunch passes per site. So they had an extra one, so he hooked me up. I was collector. Thanks, man. <laughs> He's like, I knew you were just going to jump in line anyway. So here, let's make it legit. Beautiful place. Wi-Fi saved me. I got I got all sorts of stuff taken care of. Tons of oodles of space in my phone now. After lunch, I'm going to slowly take off out of here. There's water in like eight miles, but my pack is super heavy. I got a lot of food in there because, I mean, it's only 80 miles to Chama, but a lot of that is going to be snow. I don't know how long it's going to take me. And I had a lot of granola. There was a lot of granola in the box with milk in it, so I had to take it all. I'm just going to eat the hell out of granola after lunch. Mm, lunch was a success. Got myself a little coffee to go. They had bratwurst and salad but they were out of the greens so it was just tons of vegetables i mean i'm sure they replaced the greens at some point but not while i was there i just i really wanted the vegetables anyway oh and these delightful chocolate cookies and six of them fell in my pocket i don't know how it happened but i tried wrestling them out but they put up a good fight so they're just coming with me so i'm gonna chill here have myself a nice little safety meeting you know gather my spirits and whatnot and then you know, I'm heading out. I don't plan on making it more than 10 miles tops. Just getting out, you know. If I stay any longer, I'll be trapped here. I've got all my YouTube stuff. Not all, but, you know, most of it. Well, more than enough to satisfy me. I feel safe traveling home. Whew. I'm just... I just gotta, like, process some of the food I ate, man. It's kind of heavy sitting in there. <sighs> Take a few minutes. Plus, it's all, you know, super bright out there. What, I know. I don't have to hike in all this sunshine. Oh, but it does feel glorious. So this tree, Chum. I'm not sure exactly which one. I believe it's the one on the left, but they hung a bad guy from it back in the day. It's one of their history tour things. A dude named Nacho. Yeah, Nacho. Evidently he murdered a buttload of people over in these greens over here. Would lure them in there. They were trying to get their cattle back and they'd kill them all. But they ended up hanging in from that tree. And we're off. This is about the biggest my pack has been on this trail. As far as volume, I don't know about as far as weight. I mean, it's pretty heavy, but I'm in way better shape than when I carried that load out of Silver City. That I'm pretty sure is semi-responsible for busting my ankle up. This is a lot more food than... Than anything I mean, you know, it takes up space but it's not nearly as heavy a lot of it is granola a lot I'm gonna be eating granola twice a day big portions too Whew. I should probably check the map I'm kind of thinking about just heading over to the tree line somewhere on the trail and maybe taking a nap Hey, here's the answer to so many of my questions about, you know, the colors and what they were formed from. If you want to slow it down and read. Cool cat named Dakota saw me walking along. He gave me a watermelon flavored beer, which is right up my alley. I don't really like beer much, but yeah, you know, I like alcohol. I do, I enjoy it, but I just don't like the flavor of beer. Yeah, we're starting to get off the dirt road a bit, I think. 
Maybe not. Every once in a while a car passes me by and it just ruins the whole illusion of them that I'm out in the woods or the desert. But I got that step in front of me that adds to the illusion that I'm in the middle of nowhere. As long as you just ignore all the parked cars and buildings. Um. Huh. Guess then this is me. Signs, signs, yeah. And we're off. I'm not sure exactly which one to take because, you know, they both kind of probably head in the same direction. Well, I'm assuming Box Canyon, but my map doesn't tell me anything about a split. And you can't tell just by looking at that line of zigs or zags. So you gotta walk up it a little bit and see if you move off the line. What are we here? Oh, groovy, man. I gotta duck down low to get in. I would definitely stay in there. This one even has a tiny screen door. Adorbs. Oh, there's a lizard in the ceiling. Really enjoying my hike all fat and sassy with my watermelon hard cider. That's hardcore dog. And I'm pleased that I understand the layers a little bit more. You know, because I was really curious which one was Salad Shallow Sea and all that. You know, and now that I know one is sand dunes, obviously it looks like sand dunes. I figured it was sandstone, but you know, I just don't go around assuming it was a field of sand dunes, even though that's kind of what it looks like. Wondering how old this crack is. Yes. Alright, because it is a deep crack. It runs all the way up. It's spider webs in a few places. It's right there. All the way up. Separating that entire big old piece. And you can see where it goes down the other side as well. Crack down there. It's probably been like that forever. But it sure looks like that whole piece is ready to go to me. I'm curious what does the erosion like this? And you know, what makes those kind of markings? Is that when the river ran that high, things were crashing into it, wear and tear it? I don't know. Is that just wind? Humans. I'd personally be okay with cutting off of a hand if you get cut doing it. Pretty sure most people, except the person carving, would agree with that. Went up there, probably on this road, yeah. There's a plaque up in this rock, and then I noticed two little ones. Plackety plack. And oh, there's the other one. Oh, there you go, plackety plack. I wasn't interested enough to go look at the plaques. I'm just happy to know that they exist doing their things. I got better stuff to be looking at. I'm 
apparently nobody knows how to read. Spent a lot of time carving love into that rock. Yeah, good they could just get a sandblaster out here and take care of this. <laughs> Fix it right up. Or have stiffer penalties for carving on rocks. But some of that might be really old. One of them did say 1974, but that might have been their birth year. You know, you don't know. In Yellowstone, people used to carve their full names and addresses and things. It's just a stupid thing that people do. They see something, they're like, ah, everybody needs to know I was here. I shall carve my name in it, because everybody cares that Greasy was here. Well, whatever spring it is, is flowing rather nice. The waterfall up there and everything. Water reports did not mention this at all. Aww. Well, I should at least stick my head in this. Not often you have a waterfall high enough to stick your head in. It wasn't icy cold as most of the water in the desert is. Quite refreshing. Hmm. I did just shower. I'm like, man, I'd sit naked under that. But there's no need. I'm about as clean as a hiker gets. Huh. Those lovely gentlemen. Well, there's another one behind the tree. No, oh, just fed me blueberries and white meat chicken. I was not expecting somebody to say, hey, would you like some chicken? You don't hear that often on the trail. Whew. I think I'm on the right trail. It's hard to tell. My map says I'm still on the line, but maybe it didn't update. I think it goes up this. That looks kind of traily over here. I don't see any stacked rocks. I mean, there's these. But after that, this is kind of the direction the map's saying to go. <laughs> okay. Oh, I shall. Oh, 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 no. I see trail over here. Oh, that looks way better. Okay, cool. Crisis averted. I mean, I could have handled it. We all know I would have. Just glad I figured it out before I climbed it. If this is even the right way. Did we make that spot? It doesn't look naturally occurring. It's been pretty steep, but you know, how do you get out of a canyon without going pretty steep, you know? <sighs> this is where the river is born that was in this little canyon. Oh, I hear it and see it coming out right over here. But I don't detect any over here. It's kind of moist spots in the wall. But I think that's just where this is coming out of. It's just a spring. Is that Ghost Ranch? 
I don't feel like I've gone that far. Well, what else is out here? Oh, that's a nice breeze. Oh, never mind. That's Ghost Ranch, not the one like way over here. No, way. Right by those places. Move my way on up. It doesn't even look like canyon anymore. It stops being canyon, like right there. Boom. I'm really not having a hard time with this. It's pretty steep, but my pack doesn't feel as heavy as I thought it would. But I've been training, you know. And I think spending the last 24 plus hours just filling my gob with all sorts of goodies. It does a body good. This trail is getting all up close and personal with the Choya. You gotta watch out for it on the ground as well. Hey, this doesn't feel right. I see where others have taken this way, but this doesn't feel right. Am I supposed to be in this ditch? I do see lots of footprints in there too. I guess I'll consult the map. Man, this toy is just pretty tight. Oh, Bird's gonna have a good time getting through this, man. He's at least a half size wider than I am. And that's tight for me. Good luck, Bird! Well, that's the last we see of this. Everybody's talking about some sort of river crossing. That's supposed to be super scary. I'm not sure where it is, but evidently it's coming up. Because <laughs> it's the talk of the town. We'll see, man. We'll see. I always wonder about these spots. Now, do the animals do that? I'm assuming they do. To slowly carve it out over time. They're only in select spots. But I don't know. Oh, fire ring and everything. I was gonna say this looks like a good spot. Take a little break. Hmm. 
Man, if I only had water, these are great spots. And they're cow shit free. Oh, you gotta enjoy those when they come along. This trail is just covered in it. hikers and their signs. Evidently this is the layout. Big arrow. And that makes it obvious for me to go this way. If you go this way you will um, connect back up with the red line, the main CDT. I'm on a green line right now, Ghost Ranch. I don't know why you'd want to jump over to the CDT right there. There's roads that connect them. They kind of sort of show up on the map. If you zoom in close enough. I don't know if it's a cooler walk or what, I just know it's different. Remember a little while ago when we were looking up at these cliffs? Now they're pretty much eye level. I'm somewhere near the top. There's lots of good camping up here, both sides of the trail. At least I think I'm at the top. I don't know, there could be something on the other side of those trees. Nah, I'm seeing blue sky. But maybe over here there's more mountain to come. But evidently vehicles can make it up here because what this road is. These look a lot like white lupins. Leaves look the same. The petals look the same. I gotta see a lupin to do a comparison. Okay, now there's a lupin. They're, they're totally different. My mistake. Well, this is not on the map either. My water's in another mile and a half. I see footprints all around it, but I'm not seeing all the cow turds. I see a couple. There's one. Okay, at least there's a few. We know it's good water then. It's been pretty flat walking, hard to tell I'm on top of anything. can't look out and see down, you don't know how high you are. I can see what lies before me and at least it's not covered in snow, so that, that's positive. They don't look all that big and I doubt I'm going over the top of them. I just skirt around the sides. Oh, I see snow. Yeah, probably had a down with it too, because <clears throat> that's just how things go. So many big open fields. My water's coming up soon, and I hope the ground stays nice and level and soft like this for a while. Good camping. Uh, but there's no trail over there. See a trail anywhere? Yeah, me neither. Assuming this is the trail. And this must be my lovely water source.
We can smell cow. Yep, sure can. These are some tiny little pointy boots. Okay, let's figure out how to get some without getting our feet wet. Oh, groovy salamanders. Still in there. In the huts. They're still in there like, I don't know. I don't know what state that is. Hello guys, Pachoom, I'm out of here. I won't scoop you up and filter you. Well, there's some big ones in here, like full-fledged salamanders, big old black guys. One just came to the surface, I don't know, to gulp air or what. I can still just barely see them. I don't think anything's showing up. But yeah, pretty big dudes. A little on the yellow side, but not bad at all. Some bigger ones that are black in here. I'm assuming they're all the same ones, just different phases of their life. Okay, my water is filtered. I just plan on getting a little bit away from the water source and then set up a camp somewhere. I only added like six pounds to my pack in water, but it feels so much heavier. So tonight for dinner, we're having a hiker box find. Uh, smoked three bean chili, yeah, caramelized onion, corn. Um, it is gluten-free and vegan, but I know how to fix that. Uh, during trail magic, uh, there was these burgers that were being overcooked and they were kind of tossed off to the side. And I asked the guy, I was like, hey man, would you just leave those on, turn them into jerky so I can take them with me? And yeah, so, you yeah. know, because come on, chili's got to have meat in it. There we go. This is two servings, so, you know, that should totally fill me up. I've been eating a lot lately. So I may have gone overboard, but I guess it's better than underboard. So this is what I'm carrying around. This is my snacky bars and such. Ah, oh, that's a few pounds by itself. This is also a bunch of snacks, but lunch and dinners mostly. Um, the dinner that just doesn't quite fit in, I'll be eating that tomorrow. But then this is a few pounds. Um, this is my granola sack. There was a lot of granola in there. It was like good package stuff like that with hydrated fruits and stuff. It had its own milk in it. The milk was settled to this side. But I couldn't pass it up, so I'm going to be eating a lot of granola. Yeah that's, a, yeah, that's the lightest one out of them. That's only you know, a pound and a half, two pounds. Maybe three. I don't know. I'm bad at this. But it all fits in my pack. It doesn't feel too terribly heavy. And I have just been hungry lately, so let's see how much of this makes it to Chama. I'm actually curious. There's something making a weird noise out there. Maybe it's a cow. <clears throat> But anyway, so yeah, I finished off my chili. wasn't too bad, um, but I'm still hungry, so I ate two cookies. And I'm still hungry, so now I'm going to start eating granola. Yeah, hiker hunger is real.
Yeah, it sounds like.